So if you thought that elections for class president were filled with drama, <laughs> the race for Speaker of the House on Capitol Hill appears to be even more brutal than that. Yeah, GOP nominee Steve Scalise spent the night and the morning for that matter trying to whip up enough Republican votes. Fox's Rebecca Castor is in Washington where reports say Scalise is not even close. While Israel is on the offensive, carrying out deadly airstrikes in Gaza after a brutal attack by Hamas. The U.S. House of Representatives remains leaderless and unable to deploy any aid or response after Kevin McCarthy's unprecedented ousting nine days ago. We're $33 trillion in debt. We got a southern border in crisis. Israel is at war. Like, can we please get our act together? We can't, can't drag this out any longer. Wednesday, Republicans chose Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise as their speaker nominee oh in a closed-door election after he beat Representative Jim Jordan by 14 votes. But with the vote on the House floor still delayed, it seems the majority leader is having trouble winning over the additional votes he needs to secure the speakership. I love Steve Scalise, but uh, again, I'm not on the whip team, but I can count votes and the votes aren't there for Steve. Scalise addressing the party in another closed door meeting Thursday, hoping to rally the holdouts. We're going to continue to go through this process as we grow our support, work towards getting this resolved and getting the House back open. Frustrations could work in his favor, though, with some lawmakers just wanting to get this done. For me to be sitting in this room for an hour and a half while I'm trying to get citizens out of Israel, uh, trying to push this administration to get military aircrafts on the ground or at least chartered commercial planes on the ground to get my constituents home, that's more important to me. And I, I, I just, we need to elect a speaker and just move on and start governing. Republicans have said they will not bring a vote to the House floor until they're confident their nominee has enough votes to win the speaker's gavel. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 26 News.